Hello and welcome back. We're just going to swap the Iron Duke around and, and get it on the other end of the coaches, just for something to do. It's been an unusual week. There seems to have been a little bit of a, a lack of fuel available here in the UK, um, caused mainly by panic buying, I think. And I find, find myself um, short of fuel this week, and I've taken a couple of days off just to uh, try and let things settle down. I've had the chance to put in that footbridge there that uh, I got last week or the week before. I showed it and uh, hadn't had a chance to put it on the railway. And I also had a good shed I've had for quite some time, which I've been planning to put in, but I've run another siding. You can just see on the far side of the station there, you just see the good shed in the distance there. We will have a, a good look at it a little bit later on, and there's a really terrific box for it. So we'll just get the uh, Iron Duke up onto the turntable. We'll, we'll turn it all the way around. There it is, nice and gently on the bridge. We'll just close the points behind us there. We'll activate the turntable. So we'll just keep cutting to some different views of it there. So I really think the turntable is a great feature for the railway. It's a, a terrific item for a straight out of the box, I think. It is noisy, as everybody keeps pointing out, but uh, possibly wasn't on, on the top of their, uh, in their design list when they were making this to uh, make it quiet. So I imagine today with uh, advanced sort of stepper motors and accuracy of uh, motor drivers and things, you, you could get that to, you could design one from scratch which would work quite smoothly. But these are toys from a, a different period. Just listen to this rolling on the rails there. Then we'll switch a few more points there. 2B, that's the crossover. And again, I've just uh, taken the power away from the turntable in case I forget. And then we'll hook up with these coaches. And then away we go. It's effortless, this model, as we saw in the earlier video. So two magnets. Sorry, I'm not, not speaking clearly there. It's got two magnets for the magnahesion, so on both the front and the rear drive wheel, so it really does have some pulling power available. Under the bridge. We've got six of these uh, brightly coloured coaches here. And it does stutter just slightly on the diamond crossing here. And then we'll uh, roll it all the way around again. Behind the signal box. And then we'll uh, have to plan to come to a stop at uh, points one, one B again. We'll get a great shot of the, uh, the new good shed there. We've got another one of those old trying cranes. And then a, a gentle stop. So we'll just switch 1B and open 8R and we'll run it back around to the station. And then we'll move that to little goods train to the goods shed. And under the bridge and onto the spur into the station also leads to the long sidings. Nicely through the curved point. And across the diamond crossing. A little bit of a stutter there. I don't remember it stuttering on it last week, I think. I don't think it did go in the other direction. And under that great footbridge. I really like that footbridge. I think it's been a great addition to the railway. And then a nice gentle stop there. Just isolate that, close some points and open some, and then we'll move this little train away, it's a class 25 there, can't remember the model number, I'll put it in the corner of the screen if I can uh, remember to dig that out, and we'll switch 1R again, and 2B, and 1B, so we can back out onto the main line. Nicely behaved for the point work there. And then we'll switch the points again. And then we'll run back around the layout and we'll go past the uh, the good shed so we'll get another great view of it as we come past. You can see the buffer at the end of the line there behind the start of the elevated section. Go 
couple of uh, vans sitting there. Now I haven't numbered this point yet, I've only, only just got it in. So that uh, couple of days off really did provide the time to, to put that in. There we go. And back we go. I think well, I need to clean that to that point a bit more. It's a little bit uh, hesitant there. And then smoothly through the shed there. A couple of days have elapsed since that last piece of video I shot and uh, I thought we'd just have a glance over these boxes and the, uh, the uh, 78 catalogue to finish off the video plus a little running. We will bring the, the little goods train back to the siding where it came from and I think we'll have a go with the Golden Arrow. Seems I've still got it on the, uh, on the layout at the moment. I'm considering putting that away. So uh, let's firstly close the, uh, the points to the uh, goods shed because we'll run the Golden Arrow first. So the, uh, the, the point motor for the, uh, the, the good shed, the, the spur off into the good shed, actually sits a little bit under the platform if you look at the insert picture. So uh, it, it doesn't, uh, there isn't quite enough space there, so I've had to cut, cut the edge out of the platform. So let's have a glance at this really terrific looking box, late 70s style box. So excuse the glare on it there. Lovely looking truck in the picture, isn't it? I think these uh, pictures are, are quite good fun. So this is um, R506. This particular model was available 78 to 82, and I think after 82 they had a stone effect on the uh, on the buildings rather than the printed brickwork. But um, I think they're, they're rather splendid things. I was in two minds as to whether whether to get any of these buildings, and uh, I've got the water tower, and then this one cropped up. So I think we, we might get a couple more of them, perhaps. Um, so. This is the uh, footbridge, and now we saw the box a video or so ago, I think. This is the one that I picked up from Dave Angel at the uh, Train Collector Society show. This is uh, RO71 now. This footbridge replaced that style of footbridge, which had been in the, in the catalogue since the uh, mid, mid, early to mid 50s, I think. And then this one came along in 1970, I think. Originally, it may have been uh, RO71A, perhaps, but uh, fairly standard looking box I think sadly no picture on it I don't know whether they did gain a picture on in, in the sort of later 70s I'm not sure and I think these uh, instructions are rather terrific it is made up of a number of parts you have a look at there you have to carefully assemble all of those so this one's been assembled and disassembled and then I've reassembled it and there is a, there's a slight break in one of the parts we'll have a look there so you see it indicates you fold the end of the railings around so it was broken when it came to me, but I think uh, it's, it's not possibly made to assemble and disassemble multiple times. And uh, obviously the, the plastic does get brittle as the years pass over. So you can see there we, where it folds around, this side is in, in good condition. You see the little sort of hinge in the plastic there. And if we look on this side, I don't know whether you, can you see the break in the plastic there? So this little section there was just lying loose in the box, but. Apart from that, it looks pretty good, I think. You'd never really know looking at it from sort of arm's length. And I think that uh, configuration of the walkways, the, or the stepways up, is quite, quite a smart thing. It's a nice contrast to the, uh, the other sort of concrete style bridge at the other end of the, uh, the layout there. So we will, we will have a look at the 78 catalogue in a moment or two, but uh, let's have a go with the, uh, the golden arrow, just so we get a, a bit more train running which is really what it's all about most of the time. So I think we just need to take care of some of the more, some more of the points here. So we've got uh, one B, so, and then we don't want that one, otherwise we'll end up on the uh, inside line again. And eight R, I think, I was just fiddling with that. I think we're, we're all set correctly. And I forgot to set that one. There we go, so we should be able to get out of the platform now. I just need to energize the platform, so I just need to change these switches. And then let's grab the uh, the controller and have a look at this uh, really splendid looking train. I don't think it's in any sort of uh, prototypical configuration, but I quite like the look of it. So let's, uh, let's give that a little power.
And we'll just follow this around the railway back to the station, I think. See if we can get a slightly elevated view of the train as it comes around through the curved point there. Sorry if the shot's wobbling there. My uh, arm is suddenly wobbling, holding the gimbal and the camera together there. It is quite a weight after a while holding it. And ideally we'll come back into the station. And let's catch her as she comes back up towards the, uh, the new footbridge. And if I can turn the controller in the correct direction to slow it down rather than speed it up. There we go. So let's uh, have a quick glance at that. So I think that's a, a nice addition to the, uh, the platforms there. So let's just uh, roll back around to the switches and we'll uh, throw a few before we have any uh, accidents. So I'm just gonna seal that back into the station. So we'll go with 1B there and we don't need 8R and that can stay there but I am just going to isolate the, the platform. Sorry, there we go. So we are going to uh, open up the line to the goods shed again. There we go. Now let me just have a quick glance around. So I'm bound to make a mistake at some point. It's the, it is a concentration thing. So uh, you have a go at it, you pick up your phone and try and visit. Visualize what you want to do first, and then try and video it and see if it uh, see if you get everything in the right order. It's uh, very often mistakes. So let's uh, grab the controller now. So I think we're all set to go, and we'll see if we can uh, ease this out of the good shed. Actually, why don't we back it up through the good shed first for for a good measure? Let's see if I can get that to go towards the buffer. There we go. I have installed an isolating section here. So at some point in the future, we'll have a bit of fun by drawing some wagons in. I think we're, we're not quite getting focused there. And then uh, we will be able to take the, tray, the, the, uh, the wagons away with another locomotive, but uh, perhaps I'm gonna to need to get an uncoupling ramp in there. I don't have any on the railway at the moment. So let's, uh, let's draw that back out through the, through the good shed again. So I don't know whether you're supposed to have platforms with a good shed, but it sort of looked like a, a good idea. You could sort of have a, a small good shed for a small town or something and next to a station. And I thought the crane looked sort of quite cute sitting there. So we'll just follow this around. A slight pause on the point work there. So walk around to the bridge and let's see if we can catch her coming under the bridge. I really could have left point one B open, couldn't I? See, not thinking forwards there. So Let's uh, open those. Now that's 2B, which I do want. There's the old concentration thing and the not looking at what you're doing. So I think we may have a problem with the corner of this box as well. Let's just move that out of the way. Catalog's safely out of the way. So we will just uh, roll this through now. all the way through past 1R. That ought to do it. And then we'll just switch that one. So we'll maybe get it all in shot. And then we'll back her into the siding where it came from a few days ago.
And there we have it. So the, uh, the fuel shortage I was mentioning earlier, which created the time to put that, uh, that siding in with the goods shed, has sort of largely sort of petered out. The fuel supply seems to have eased itself. So I think you'll be viewing this video sometime early in the new year, if not the first video of the year. So it'll be interesting to see if that situation has uh, continued or not nationwide. It will uh, be interesting to see what happens as, uh, as Christmas really did roll by. So let's have a, a quick glance at this good shed. So I think uh, we'll just lift it out and have a look at it. It's, uh, it's not hooked in or anything. So let's see if we can grab this. So I thought it would have been a, a nice feature if the platform sections are plugged in, but they, they don't. So it is a regular platform section in there. And I'm uh, hoping nothing falls apart as I turn this over. It's just all pushed together. It's not glued. Only the windows are, are sort of glued in. And the, uh, the previous owner has uh, put some what look like milk churns in there. So it, it's quite a nice item. You can see how the, the platform sort of plug in there. I think it would have been nice to have the platforms been able to plug in on the outside perhaps. Maybe it's too complicated or maybe you just wouldn't have had platforms. So, but I think it looks sort of quite nice. So I'll check that before I run anything into that again. That's just another one of those old train um, platform cranes, a number of which I can't remember. I'll stick it in the, the corner of the screen and I've got the, what I think are called a, a height gauge or a loading gauge just on the, the corner of the track there prior to the, the good shed. So I thought that all sort of looked quite good there. So let's just have a glance over the uh, the uh, 78 catalogue. Not all of it, just the relevant pages. We've got a chap hard at work putting his layout down there. And we've got some of these uh, newer style buildings and we can see them as an illustration here. Now I've got the uh, the water tower we've seen a couple of weeks back. We can see it over there. That one's been weathered. Um, so uh, it's a little bit darker than it should be, but I think it sort of works. And then, if another one shows up, I'll get one that, that, that's not weathered, but it doesn't worry me overly, really. So we'll just uh, have a glance at this book. We keep saying that and then walking away from it. So there's buildings and scenic accessories there. So straight away, when you, when you look into these pages, you can see this new set of buildings for 78. They really are quite impressive things. There's the, the footbridge there, and um, that's been available since 1970. You've got the station halt. So I think this was available with uh, platform ends or, or just as a straight platform and various bits and accessories that go with it. Mine, the one I have on the railway, doesn't have all of its uh, additional accessories and things. They're all missing. That one just came from a, a rummage box. But uh, I think these are, are quite smart looking buildings. And I think I mentioned I hadn't really uh, thought about getting this style of building. So they're, they're quite late on in the period which sort of interests me. But uh, having got some, I think I might keep a lookout for some of the others. They're, they are quite smart. They're completely different from the, uh, the earlier sort of ultra modern style looking ones like, uh, like that, aren't they? Of course, they were available in a slightly darker, darker reddy maroon color as well. So uh, let's have a, another glance at this catalog. So rather nice picture that. And then there is a signal box as well, which goes with it. So that's quite a nice thing as well, with some, some wooden steps, or what look like steps, wood effect on, on the side of it there. So I think we should probably have a look out for one of those. There's always room for another signal box on the railway. And I think this is a really splendid picture. Look at that across the ends of the engine shed there and that uh, water tower. You can really see how the, the one I've got is really darkened down. It should be a little bit brighter in colour there. And the, the engine sheds with the, uh, the ventilators, they look, uh, they look like quite, quite good looking things. There's the, the tail end of that truck again. But I think that's probably it for this week. Thanks again for watching. And if you look back again next time, we'll uh, have something else running on the railway and perhaps uh, we'll uh, have a, have a look at what, what else we can sort of add to that platform to, to make it look a, a little more interesting. Those, those little uh, Ford vans there, I had those on, on the last railway just near the, uh, the level crossing behind the station. I thought they looked quite good there waiting to, to take goods away. But thanks again.
Goodbye now.